Hi, this is an uh, intro to our virtual session of pouring uh, session. And um, I have a um, large baking tray. And then I also have a piece of uh, plastic on the top. You can, this is like a transparency from the office supply store. You can also use like a sheet protector for your uh, door protection. That will work too. <clears throat> Just to keep the water, the moisture on the paper. And the paper I'm using today is our mop paper, just a scrap. And uh, you can use, I find that anything probably stronger and has a little sizing to it is the best paper. We'll talk more in the actually session. And, um, um, and then I'm going to use our um, fine line ink and some scotch guard liquid, and then some uh, water, spray water. And then um, the brushes is not important. I'm just using to apply the, the ink and then the color. And I have our companion set for some accent of color. And then I have the stone blue from the bright light with the sky blue to do the top of the mountain. <clears throat> there is a lot of interpretation on um, pouring ink. So um, do you actually drop the ink on the paper? It's kind of harder to control. And um, um, there's also people splashing. And uh, in this case, I'm going to use the brush mostly to apply my ink and color. First, I'm wetting the paper. With a our fine spray bottle. <clears throat> and now I have a large brush. Now I'm using some ink. While it's wet, using some blue, the stone blue with the sky blue and to accent my mountain. And then I'm using some green from the companion set. Some brown with ochre. Then a little bit sky blue with a little bit ink. A 
and this is it. And then after um, we finish filming and I'll lift this up and then whatever is left on the uh, sheet, I might be able to make another painting off it. So I'm going to lift this one up and put it aside, let it dry. So this will pick up some images here. And then I'm splashing some scotch gar. So that will act like a re resist. And then wet it. One more time if you didn't catch, this is our mop paper. Here is some more scotch cut. I'm going to it. When it's dry, look at all these lines. Then I might add additional green, like make a tree out of it. But since it's wet, so I'm leaving it alone. So there are some blue sky. So this is another painting. Once it's dry, I can add additional things to it. I want to wet the whole thing, otherwise it'll have a watermark. So I'm going to lift this up to let it dry. Whatever I have it on the here, I can use another piece, pick it up. And then so forth and so on. That's it. from Oriental Art Supply and here we are to introduce part two of our virtual office hours coming up. Um, this section is going to be all about marbling or the Japanese variation would be called suminagashi. We're going to keep it pretty simple and we're just using ink for today. So I have a bottle of um, uh, Chinese ink uh, this particular one is, um, or Sumie ink, uh, this particular one we bring in from Taiwan. Not all inks will work. Um, we find that this one works the best, so if you have a bottle of this, uh, this will make your experience or your journey a lot, um, a lot more productive. I have a dish to hold my ink. Um, 
two brushes, one that I'll be using to uh, apply the ink and another to do something fun. Um, and then two of my secret weapons, slow and fast, which I'll go into more detail during our actual virtual office hour session. So the idea of marbling is taking a shallow pan of water. Um, this is about fingernail deep, just plain water, um, and floating the ink on the surface and then trying to manipulate the ink to create different um, pieces of art. So here we go, let's get started. I'm going to take my brush and load the tip with ink and drop the tip to the very surface of water and see how the ink spreads into a round blob. If I want to be if I want to add more intensity, I just drop it in between to get it darker. I'm gonna do some more blobs. Again, you're just touching the surface of the water. Don't go too deep. It's okay if you go deep, but for this purpose, we just want the surface. Alrighty, now I'm gonna use my magic jar of goodies here and taking a smaller brush and see what happens. Ooh, interesting. I have another one here labeled fast, which will move the ink a little bit faster, or a lot faster, I should say. I think I'll add some more ink. Maybe in the center here. Play a little bit more with my secret fluid here. I think I'm pretty happy with what's going on. I'm gonna take a piece of rice paper here and try to pick up the design. Let's try a different paper. New design. Working a little bit faster. go in the center of the dot and see what happens. Ooh, I see something interesting. Almost looks like an animal. Let's try to pick, use a different paper. Uh, no, not big enough paper. Oh well, Let's see what happens.
Thank you.